If you manage to grab yourself a PS5 and you've been looking at accessories, then you will have come across this. This is the DualSense charging station and it's officially licensed by Sony. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be comparing it to this. This is the Duo Charge Dock and it's by Orsley. Hello and welcome, and as we said in the introduction, we're going to be looking at two charging stations for your DualSense 5 today. Uh, first of all, we're going to quickly unbox and have a look at this. This is the officially licensed DualSense charging station. I've had this now since before I even got the PS5, uh, because all the accessories in the UK came uh, a week before the actual console. So I've got this and I've had this and I've been playing with it ever since. And also we're going to be looking at comparing it to this. So this is the Duo Charge Dock from Orsley. Now, the difference between these two are, currently, as I'm speaking, on the 1st of January, this is in stock, this isn't. This has been out of stock for quite a while, so I wanted to get hold of one of these just to see is if it's worth getting one of these if you're waiting for this, or kind of like, we're going to do a comparison between the two. So I've got a couple of, um, a couple of dual sensors I'm going to try, and also I've got a plethora of other controllers as well for other systems, and you'll see why later. Okay, so I've been using this for a couple of weeks. I've been using this now for a couple of months. So I'm gonna quickly unbox this just to show you what you get in it. So when you pop it open, look, I've even put it all in back in its packaging. Here we go, here's the charging station itself. And then you also get this, which is brilliant by the way, because it's huge. Look, I've even done these up. Why did I bother doing that? I don't know. Right, so look at this. It's really, really long. So if you've got your PS5 on your desk somewhere and you want your charging station somewhere else, you can plug it in. And it comes with um, the plug. So a UK or US plug, whichever whichever country you're in. And then you've also got this as well. Really nice cable, that really good. But it will be a US, uh, sorry, a plug, which will come on to this which is a little bit different to the Orsley okay so don't need that for a second because and then this here we go so here it is and with the way the dual sense fits on it sits on there like that so the way I put it on you put it on there and you kind of twist it forward so it sits on there and then it charges like that when the PlayStation 4 5 is off these will light up to say that it's charging that's the only indication that you've got that it's charging if the PlayStation 5 is on, these don't actually light up. Okay, so one at the front and one at the back, and the idea is it looks like a mini PS5. So it looks quite cool sat next to the PS5. Okay, there's a brief unboxing of that. Now we're gonna go on to this, the Orsley Duo Charge Dock, and a brief unboxing of this, and then we're gonna do the comparison. Okay, so what you get inside is you get four of these things, and the dock, instruction manual and you also get a USB cable which I already have here so I already have this plugged in ready to go and here it is nice and small and light plastic nice really feels really nice quality and you can see there's a screen on the front there and on the back the place for the USB type C and on the bottom for rubber dots to keep it from moving and they really do stick well on there okay so footprint wise this is going to be a little bit wider this is a lot higher than this because this one actually charges a different way to this one if you didn't know already and it uses these okay so you get four of these and the idea of this is you plug this into the USB type C bit of that and then every time you want to charge it you just donk it on there like that. No, no pressure needed. All you do is just put it on and the weight of the controller pushes it down and it does start charging. And once you've got it all plugged in, 
you'll see there's some LEDs on there. They're currently blue, which means it's charged. I think my my DS5 is already charged. No, it's not. And then, so when it is charging, it we're charging it, it will turn orange. You see that? So it goes blue if it's already charged and orange if it's charging. So it kind of matches the, 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 the PlayStation uh, controller and lights, because when the lights on the DualSense are orange, it's charging. If they're blue, it's fully charged. And that happens with one and two. So this is one, which is that light there. This is two, and that's the, the light there. Now, with these, you get four of them, okay? So, yeah, great. I can have two, two dual sensors charging at the same time. Brilliant. But also, you can use other controllers as well. And I've grabbed all of my controllers, and I've picked out a few that work. So I've got my Tom Nook one here. I could, for my Nintendo Switch, I could just leave it on there, and then just stick it on there, and look, it starts charging. Okay, so if you wanted to charge that and a DS5, brilliant. Start charging them. Both on orange, so both charging. And then you've got another one, so you can have a fourth one. Now with this one, this is the PXN, this is my favorite switch controller of all time. I love this thing. You think it doesn't fit in there like that. You just spin it around and it fits, it fits in like that. And it starts charging there. You can see the orange light come on. So these two are now charging. So. This is designed for the, the DualSense 5, for the PS5, but you can use it for anything. Look, I've even got an, um, an Xbox Elite 2 controller here, so this is the second one. And again, pop the old USB in there, on it goes, and it starts charging. Fantastic. Okay, so when you're doing a comparison between these two, immediately, if you're going to be want to, wanting to uh, charge up um, PlayStation, DS5 controllers, or if you're going to be doing these as well, then this is absolutely brilliant. And I love the fact that it's got the LEDs on the front. This it doesn't annoy me so much, but I just when I plonk, when I plonk it on, I don't know if it's charged or if it's fully charged. I just assume it is because it would have it would have been on there for a while. I just like to have the display of it going blue and orange for when it's charging or when it's charged. I think that's a really really nice feature. And I do like the USB type C. I do that because I've got it plugged into a USB hub here. I can have it into USB, anywhere USBs. I've tried a lot of different places and it all, it all seems to pick up fine. It says it charges, it, it says it charges in four hours. I've been charging controllers way quicker than that, but it says four hours. This one says officially three hours. So this one will take longer. However, I've not had a problem, but that's what they say. So I've been a lot quicker on that. Look, I've got a pro controller here. So look, you can have four. So you can have two DS, um, dual senses, two of these, or an Xbox, if you've got an Xbox as well. There we go, plonk it on, and it starts charging. Oh, this is what this one's fully charged. But as you saw with the lights come on, it will be charging. It's brilliant. And they say when you can leave it on, you can leave it on there. I'm, I'm tend to take it off when I think it's fully charged, but you can leave it on there. It says it's intelligent enough to stop charging when it's fully charged. Okay, so there's kind of like the differences between those two. This one will set you back around £25 or $25. This one will set you back $19 or £20, so a little bit cheaper. I think if you're gonna want a controller that does these and switches, this is absolutely brilliant. I think this is well worth, I'll leave a link below where you can get hold of this. I think this is fantastic. I'm gonna be using this on my desk, charging up my, um, Switch controllers, and I'll probably be using this next to the um, PS5. Brilliant. Okay, so let me know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on this? I think the fact that it's in stock is, is, is a bonus for starters. But, you know, when you're watching this, I'm hoping this might be in stock when you're watching this. But go out and get this. If you need a charging station right now, and you want to charge up something other than a um, DualSense, brilliant. I absolutely love this. I think it's fantastic. Okay, so that was my that was my brief un unboxing and um, brief comparison. If you've got any questions, do let me know. Let me know if you've got a controller that you want me to try on it, and I'll, if I've got it, I will try it and see see if it fits. We'll, we'll, we'll do a we'll see if I fit through it, and I'll, and I'll let you know. Okay, any other questions? Please do sit the thumbs up. It would help a lot, and do subscribe if you're new around here. It would help the channel out massively. Okay, so that was my look at the official DualSense charging station and the Orsley Duo charging station. I hope you found it interesting. And until the next video, bye-bye.